tango sets the beat that drives Maria de Buenos Aires. There was quite a bit of dance in this show, and tango is really sort of the spirit of the opera, and the music is infused with what we know of as tango music. This is indeed an opera, complete with arias. <laughs> but it's an opera that makes people rethink exactly what that definition means. And that's the whole point of the Detour series, says San Diego Opera General Director David Bennett. We have a very adventurous audience that's starting to understand that the brand of the series is about discovery. So they don't exactly know what they're going to see, but they know they're going to enjoy it. Part of the appeal of Maria de Buenos Aires is that it's done in the intimate space of the Lyceum's 500-seat theater. Director John De Los Santos says that puts you right next to the action. So the intimacy and the, the passion of the piece will really just kind of suck you in if you're this close to it. One of the reasons we liked this venue is we could actually feature the orchestra and have it prominent instead of either in a pit or sort of behind the performers. And having those musicians on stage was key. Frankly, the work that they're doing is so interesting and full of great energy as well that we thought that it was another great scenic element. The story follows a woman named Maria who travels through the slums and underbelly of Buenos Aires. People can expect surreal poetry, they can expect a lot of dance, they can expect dancers, opera singers, and actors all thrown together in a really, really cool mix of Argentine energy. It's uh, based on poetry by Horacio Ferrer, who was a, uh, a surrealist poet. The, the lyrics are based on, on that. So it creates a text world that is surreal, but very beautiful, full of metaphor. I think that this is a piece where the plot, so much of the plot is taken from the symbols and the poetry. And so everyone's experience of what they'll take away from this and what it means to them might be different to each person. But it all plays out to the rhythms of tango. What's great about this is that there's different kinds of tango. There are some that express great longing, some that express desire, some that express sadness or fear. So the tangos in this piece are all, um, there's a lot of variety in the way they're presented. And some are a vertical expression of a horizontal desire, as tango has famously been described. Desire is definitely a theme in this, and so there is a sense of sensuality and some sexuality in this. Maria de Buenos Aires epitomizes the mission of San Diego Opera's Detour series, which is to showcase work that falls outside of traditional opera. My hope is that people will come away thinking they've seen something new that they've never seen in the opera house before or in the theater before, because it's a really great conglomeration of all of these different wonderful talented people and different elements. So if you're not into opera, maybe you'll love tango or dance or the poetry or vice versa. There's really something for everybody in this piece and hopefully they'll walk away having an appreciation for all of the other elements of it. I think they're going to take away that there is a great breadth of expression inside of the word opera that they don't know about. That I hope they're going to begin to see that's what we're exploring in Detour and they'll want to see more of it. If the response to Maria de Buenos Aires is any indication, then the answer is a resounding yes. Beth Accomando, KPBS News.